So hey guys, welcome back to Natsu Reviews. Uh, last one I covered was A Silent Voice, and I still haven't gotten enough comments on either the SoundCloud or the YouTube section to actually respond back to you. So make sure to leave some comments on any of the videos that I talk about or any of the audio segments that I do for these, because uh, I want this to actually be a conversation between us. I want to know what you guys think of the shows that I'm talking about. Do you like them? Do you not? Why? Why not? And uh, and so on and so forth. Also, you know, where do you check out these shows? I'm curious to find out uh, what other places they're available to be shown. Of course, guys, try and keep this legit. So if you find them from other sources that aren't, like, official sources, please don't tell me that. I don't want to know. Okay. Uh, that having been said... Uh, the next one I'm going to cover is both on Crunchyroll and Funimation right now, and it's called Drifters. And it is a series by the same guy that did Helsing. So if you like the Helsing series, then you're going to love this anime. Uh, just a quick synopsis. Uh, Shimazu Toyoshi, uh, Toyohisa, a famous samurai who fought in the historical battle of Sekigahara. And you don't really need to know all of the uh, important historical details to enjoy this so don't worry if you're not caught up on japanese history uh basically he's transported to another world when he's just like moments away from death and from that moment on he becomes part of a group known as the drifters and is forced to battle uh against other legendary warriors in an ultimate death game so i, I mean take some of the best ideas from like uh, say like fate stay night where you have these legendary heroes kind of battling uh, together with each other. And, uh, even though it may seem at first like it's a bunch of Japanese characters that are of the historical, like the historical figures are mostly Japanese, they're not. There's historical figures from all over the world and in different periods of time. So, uh, it definitely borrows kind of that aspect from Fate's Day, which was a really cool way to do it, but it does it in such a different way. And, um, uh, secondly, you know, with Fate Stay Night, with Fate Stay Night or Zero, whichever Fate Stay series you watch, because there's so many of them now, um, it's not one of those things where uh, they're just battling against the other historical figures. Like they're in this world and they have to live in this world and survive in this world, so they're gonna tear up whatever's in their way, and it's really, really freaking good. The animation definitely reminds me a lot of Helsing. So if you like the Helsing animation, you're gonna love this series. All right. Uh, while I've been talking, if you're checking out the YouTube video, then there's going to be a lot of pictures for this. Uh, and there's some really cool characters in here, like uh, Oda Nobunaga is in here. And they don't, like, try and play it up like he's this great romantic figure like so many other anime do. Like, in this, he's a fucking beast. <laughs> he is legit a beast. And uh, he don't give a shit about nothing. He don't, he don't, he's not going to take any shit from no, no one. Uh, but there's, uh, demi-humans and other kinds of species in this other world too, like elves and ogres and all sorts of different creatures. And right now there's two factions that are kind of gathering up to fight each other. And there are these two characters that are involved. The f when, uh, your main character dies, he basically walks into this hallway and there's this, this guy sitting at a table reading a newspaper and he just sends him on his way. <laughs> And, uh, he and this other girl are apparently the two in charge of, like, what's going on in this world. And it's almost kind of like they have a bet as to whose side is going to win and whatnot. And I'm trying not to overly spoil too many things, but, like, this show is really good and I'm very excited. And episode five just came out today and I watched that and I was like, I really want to talk about this. So I decided I was going to make a video on this. I know I promised to make one for Yuri on Ice and Yuri on, Yuri on Ice will be coming up. I just want to get comments uh, from the other series before I jump straight into Yuri on Ice. So let me know if you actually like these uh, series and what you think about them, whether it's A Silent Voice, the manga, or whether it is uh, drifters. Now I haven't checked out the manga for drifters 
And I know a lot of people are going to tell me that it's further ahead because obviously with an animation project, it should be. Uh, but without without going too much into spoiler, how much more epic does it become in the manga? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, so let me know. Yeah, I, I definitely like this so far. Uh, five episodes in is usually what I give a series before I'm like, I, I it, whether I drop it or not, if I decide I'm going to drop it or not. Because a lot of anime can start off very slow. So I, I give it the benefit of the doubt with five episodes. But five episodes in, and I'm still loving this. So I highly, highly recommend uh, Drifters. So I'm about, I'd say I'd give it about four and a half out of five Fire Dragons Roars. If you check out any of the stuff I do on um, any of my typed up reviews on the website, fairytalepodcast.com, make sure to go and check those out. I've done a bunch of different series and I've rated them out of Fire Dragons Roars. Uh, but I, I would definitely say go check this out. This is well worth your money if you're paying for your streaming accounts on Funimation or Crunchyroll. Definitely worth the money that you spend monthly to check out this series. All right. So that having been said, I am going to go watch the uh, fifth episode of season three of Haikyuu now <laughs> and then put all of this stuff together so that you can enjoy it. So once again, please make sure to leave your comments I cannot stress that enough. I want this to be a conversation between everyone. So let me know what you guys think about Drifters. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, check out the website. Uh, check out our YouTube, Fairytale Podcast on YouTube. Uh, you, if you're listening on YouTube, check us out on SoundCloud, Fairytale Podcast on SoundCloud. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. The live shows are going to be Mondays right now at 9 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, yeah, when we're actually on time, right? All right, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you guys later, and hope I look forward to seeing your comments very soon. <laughs>